What's up guys, it's Roger, and today I'll be teaching you how to use your Blink and Trials of Osiris on Endless Veil. Vale. Now, Endless Veil vale is a pretty darn good map when it comes to our Blink. Not very many ceilings, pretty high roofs where they actually are applied, and we can kind of blink around pretty freely. Our Blink lets us get to mid lane very quickly, which is a big part of the strategy today, and a lot of the strategy today is going to be revolving around our nades. So why don't we go ahead and break down how we're going to be getting nades so quickly. First of all, I do have 100 Discipline, but following up with that, I do have Eye of Another World. You can see here, this has Cerebral Uplink. Highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Provides a small amount to the airborne effectiveness stat of all weapons. I believe that is a plus 15 to your AE, and on top of that is a 50% boost to your base regeneration of all your abilities. So your grenade ability, your melee, and rift, of course we care mostly about the grenade right now. We have some other things to help us get our grenade energy back, including Feed the Void. With this, we can proc Devour. When you have Devour, yes, it's going to heal you every time you get a kill, but you also get grenade energy. Sometimes people kind of look over that aspect of it, but it's pretty dang good. After that, we also have Clarence. Shout out to the old gods if you want to, but we call him Clarence around here. When Clarence goes off and starts sucking somebody's booty cheeks, he's going to give you some stuff back. If you have a healing rift on, which you should, then you're going to get grenade and melee energy back. So we have both of our aspects here that can help us get grenade energy back, and then we have our boost from our 100 discipline, and we have our boost from our Eye of Another World. Put all that together, and you're going to be getting grenade energy back like crazy. In terms of our weapons, I am running this Godroll Reese Walker right here, firmly planted iron reach, 95 range on this thing, looking pretty crispy, and my Godroll Darkest before surplus in elemental capacitor is going to make this thing an absolute stability machine. If you have any questions about the build more so in depth than that, you go ahead, you can put those down in the comments below or join the Blinkville Discord server. I'm going to have that linked in the top right and in the description. Ask me any questions you have there. I just don't want to spend too much time going over the uh, build here this week. Just want to touch the key parts and a lot of it is going to be revolving around these nades. I am using scatter nades, you should know, right here, scatter nades. So you will see that in the gameplay today. You can go ahead and look at these fragments actually since we're already here. I'll let you look at those really quick in case you are interested. Pretty straightforward stuff. Take a peek at the mods on the armor too if you are interested in that, but with everything covered, I think we are about ready to get in this gameplay. So why don't we go ahead and blink on into it. Okay, we got the first play here. Now, unfortunately, this first play, it's a good one, but it's not exactly the strategy I want to show you. Now, I do want to mention, I did kind of look at the exact time of how long these nades take to go on cooldown, right? From what I've seen, it takes 40 seconds just regularly to get your nade back up. But that's not counting, you know, any kind of boost you get from Clarence or your Devour boosting your nades back up. So I think you could probably get around a 25 second nade right back off cooldown, and that's pretty crazy to me. Just knock this guy out of the freaking air right there, and then here's what I want to show you with these nades. You're going to blink forward twice from your spawn, get towards mid, hop this little nade straight into the corner there. You can do this from either side. You honestly want to throw it a little farther than I did right there. I have some clips where it actually works and it gets that first kill very, very easily. You got to remember you're going to get to lane faster than almost any other movement ability because we have blink on. Especially if you're using Astro Sight Burst, you're going to soar there in record time. Get a good flink with my blink right here, knock these guys' heads off, go back to the next round here. Let's see what we got. All right, good. The nade is back up. What we're going to do is fly in mid. Like I said, you can do it from either side. Throw it in here and then start taking shots immediately. You can see right there, some pretty dang good damage that time. Almost killed those guys. If my teammates honestly hit any damage, we would have had one or two kills there, but hey, you can't really count on randoms, can you? And this is freelance weekend. It's also cap point weekend. You can see there's a cap point in mid right now. So I'm doing my best to kind of flank using my radar, get to the left of these guys, take one out. I see one more getting ticked by Clarence. So I fly in on him while he's still weakened, knock him out with an easy shotgun map, looking for the last guy, and he might blink on him, but my teammates take him out pretty well. So hey, they did help a little bit there at the end. Again, coming into mid, we can blink twice, chuck this right in there. You can see this is a little bit of a better throw straight into that pocket right there is exactly where you want to throw it. You can wait and check your radar to see if the enemy's going to peek there, right? If you want to be really careful, but look at my nade energy in the bottom left. I want you to watch that regenerate here. Watch me get some kills too, if you want. But again, it's going to take me a second to get these kills. So you can watch that nade energy regenerate. Look, we already have more than half our nade. Boom, Clarence just got a kill, so our devour proc'd. So look, we already have our nade back in about three, two, there we go. I got another kill with devour. That means our nade is already back up. Looking for the last guy here, I throw out my nade just so I can try to get it on top of that res. Unfortunately, it hits the wall a little bit, so I just slap down my rift, grab Clarence. We still have devour for five seconds. I push in. I fly over this guy, take the first guy out, proc our devour again, have half our nade energy back already, fly behind cover with my blink, snag over this guy with my good aim, take him out with some nice shots from our darkest before, proc devour again, and you can see right there, look at this, this is a different game, but you saw our nade was back up again by the end of that round. That means I got what? 
three nades, I think, in that one round. I'm telling you, this is the best cooldown build I've ever seen for nades. Now, you don't have to do this with a scatter nade. You can do this with something like a vortex nade that will suck enemies out, um, right? It won't suck their dingle, don't, don't worry about that, but it'll suck them out from cover in mid, and then you can take some easy shots on them. You can do it with an Axion Bolt, you know, that combined with your gun damage will probably get you a free kill, and at the very least, it'll make the enemies run away from mid, so you can push it more aggressively if you want to. Uh, you can do it with a magnetic nade, I wouldn't really suggest that, but you can. Um, you can do it with a void spike, you know, you can do it with a void wall. Any nade is very good for this, even if you want to do something very aggressive, like throw a suppressor nade down lane, and then follow that up with a very aggressive blink shotgun or blink SMG playstyle, you can get on top of enemies while they're still suppressed, and you should use an echo of domineering, I will say, if you're going to do that, and you can get on top of your enemies very easily and take them out while they're suppressed. Now, of course, this is still good even when you're not pushing down mid. There's going to be times where you're not going to be able to push down mid because the thing is, with strategies like these, I'm going to say use our blink here to get a very nice uh, flank on these guys. Go over this tree right there where I just flew over. That's a very nice flank spot. People are going to see you on the radar sometimes like that guy did. But when I fly over that tree like that, he's not going to be expecting that push. So I can land right on top of his head and take him out with a very well-placed shotgun shot. Now, um, you, you gotta be careful, because, like, right there, it didn't work in mid, but other times, it's, I mean, this is 4-1, right? These people were starting to understand that I was pushing mid like this, that I was throwing the nade there and then taking shots to try to get that easy combo kill. So once the game goes further on, you have to start understanding that your enemies, they're gonna adjust to your playstyle. That doesn't mean you can't keep using this nade right off the bat at the beginning of a round very effectively. If I may suggest something to you, I would say go towards the shrine area, uh, I think it's called shrine, that is the right side of where I am looking on the map right now, where the flag is actually spawned. That area can be very good for your nades too. You can kind of huck one over into a very nice area to get some damage. I'll try to show you if that pops up in these clips at some point. You can see me holding mid here just because they got my teammates, you know, they killed my teammate there, so I assume they were going to push there. Throw the scatter nade here because I knew he was sitting inside of the cubby that let me do enough damage where I could easily take him out with my shotgun and secure that around for my teammates. You can see sometimes the flag is going to be inside of Temple here. If it is, I would recommend that you challenge that. You can throw a nade on top of these guys when they stand here, because oftentimes they will peek from there. I didn't have a nade when this round started, so I backed up, put a rift down, grabbed clearance, let my teammates heal, and see if we can get some kind of peeks on them. I do have ricochet rounds. I often try to use those in these maps so I can kind of bounce the shots off the wall, maybe get a kill on somebody that's running away. You can see these guys are kind of just running from us, but I wanted to get a little aggressive, fly over that area right there with my shotgun, map this guy real quick, keep flying towards the left. I wanted to get a flank on this second guy. You can see the third guy actually rage quit, so. See you later, loser. Smack this last guy with a nice shotgun shot when I was able to flick over to him, and we do trade the round, which is better than a loss. Now, it should be noted that you're always going to have your other abilities up almost all the time, too, because I have another world. Sure, it works on your nades, but like I said earlier, it also applies that 50% base ability regeneration to all of your abilities, not counting your super, but your melee and your rift as well. So you're always going to have those abilities, which is very nice. Not to mention your devour and your clearance. Well, just your clearance, I will say, are going to help you get your melee energy back up. So you're always going to have that ability as well without even having a crazy good strength stat. That right there is the perfect nade that you're looking to do. People are oftentimes going to walk right into that, especially if they're sniping or something, and you can just take two extra little shots. Uh, we do need to remember that our scatter nades can one-shot. You don't need to put any extra damage into somebody, and they will be able to do one hit KOs, you know? That's a very nice part of scatter nades, and that's why I personally use them, because even if you can't get any other gunfire, you can still just get a one-hit KO with your nade and not even have to worry about shooting your enemies in the slightest. This guy flies up, unfortunately, he had some good movement there to get himself out of trouble. I don't know if he used the boosters there or something, but he really just, like, dodged my bullets, I will say. Now, I'm looking over to my left here because I see this guy shooting his bullets, so I kill him, fly up to get heavy here. You know I like to get a little sword play for you guys. Unfortunately, he didn't get any kind of tracking with the sword here, which he was a little far away, so I'm fine with that. Kind of thought the uppercut would have hit there, but then it didn't, so I took one last, uh, you know, uh, uncharged, a left-click swipe, and it did take him out. You can see Clarence is sucking some cheeks there. He does get taken out pretty quickly. Oh wait, actually there goes Clarence, I don't know what I was talking about, but there's Clarence sucking some cheeks, take that guy out with a melee, you can see halfway up on our nade already, taking our shotgun out, looking for the next fight that we can actually take, kill this guy, boom, and our nade is back up in 3, 2, 1, that is a nice blink right there, I will say, use that area of the map, there's a little slit, a little butt crack, if you will, in the upper portion of the map there, that you can use your blink to slide along the wall. Now I will say, be careful how you blink in there, because there are a lot of invisible roofs on Endless Fail, and some of the invisible roofs in Endless Fail are in that little middle butt crack. So if you're trying to fly through there, make sure you're taking it from an angle where you actually come at it from about 45 degree angle, you should be able to glide yourself along the wall, and it's very effective. But if you come at it straight on, or especially from under it, you will probably bump your noggin on some invisible roofs there, so just be very careful of that. 
You can see this guy challenges and he has a nice well here. At this point, what I wanted to do is just shoot the well. Remember, you don't have to shoot the well uh, just on the sword there to break it. You can also shoot the um, little orb at the top and that's what I was trying to do. Now we're in kind of dire straits here. I only have 60 uh, intellect, which is really all you do really like, need, you know, to get your Nova Bombs pretty effectively. Take that first guy out. Almost have my Nova Bomb, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get it for the end of this round, but I can't let them just cap, right? I at least have to try for this. I fly in. I push him backwards to get him volatile. Take some shots. Unfortunately, he doesn't die. I blink backwards right when my nade is up. Throw the nade out. Take some shots. Boom. I shut him down. That disappears the bubble. My teammate puts down a Well of Radiance, and he clutches up the round. If you ever see a Titan like that, a lot of times they get really stupid, and they just push out of their bubbles and challenge you for some reason. These scatter nades are perfect for that. The second they step out, they just... You know, walk into a world of pain, just like that guy did right there. You can see combination of my shots and my scatter nade. Let me take him out pretty easily. Fly in on this guy, push him to the left. Nice play, shotgun shot takes him out. We're not going to talk about the first one. Sometimes you're going to miss that cube right there. You might clonk your face into it like I did. That's okay. You can still keep blinking in the mid. Throw a nice scatter nade there. Some extra damage is going to be nice on those guys. Want to send out Clarence, but unfortunately can't do that. Stasis overpowered. Now I can't use my blink. Almost die because of it. I blink backwards really quickly, just so I can kind of reassess the situation, and because I thought they were going to push onto me. I kept shooting towards mid, pre-firing it because I thought that somebody else might push into it he did i took him out you can see butt crack right there fly through that take this guy out with that nice little butt crack slide flying into the next play here you can see we're coming towards mid zero zero in the match so they don't know my strategy yet since they don't know my strategy i can use the art of surprise just like that to take him out with a perfectly placed scatter nade you can see there, I kind of placed that one more towards the mid. It really depends what kind of enemies you're facing. You can see I placed that one a little more towards the mid too, and they just didn't even walk into it because these guys, you know, were three rounds in. They kind of knew my strategy, and now they're playing right side of the map. I'm taking some shots at them in case they want to hop up, but then I decide I just want to rotate with my um, darkest before, get behind them, and take some shots. This guy gets out of my shots, unfortunately, and I was like, darn, I couldn't quite pick that kill up. That sucks. What I decided to do was to get aggressive. Fly in with my blink here, punch this guy twice because I do miss my shot, unfortunately, but it's funny because you'll miss one shot and then you do something like this you slide and you absolutely map the next guy and it's like oh i was actually feeling pretty good with my shotgun shots today but every now and again you're gonna whiff a little bit and that's just kind of how the cookie crumbled baby you can see here i'm looking towards these guys i get a pretty nice nade right here you can throw your rift down look forward you see them on their radar here and oh actually this is not the round i was thinking of i fly forward with my gun here take out one guy like i said blink over tree here with my shotgun out to map the second guy boom nice little two piece there to help my teammates out to secure that round but yeah you can get a very nice nade over the shrine area there i don't think i have clips in it in this video but i have used this strategy plenty of times on in this fail i suggest you go watching some of my old in this fail videos where i use very similar builds to this and you can see i have plenty of more plays there where i go over how you can perfectly play on this map with a build like this i will link those on the end screen in case you want more content for in this fail trials after you are finished here and stick around for tomorrow because i will have a blink hunter build on in this trail on in the spales, excuse me. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the last play. I really appreciate you watching. Um, if you want to leave me a like, I very, very, very much appreciate that. It tells the YouTube algorithm you are enjoying and they can push it to more people. But that is going to be it for me today. So as always, have a great day, Guardians.